Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a what I eat in a day video. You guys have been requesting to see this like so much recently, especially since I mentioned that I am on a deficit for Europe. If you guys don't know, I'm six weeks away from my Europe trip. So I feel like the closer it gets to the trip, the more like strict I'm being on my diet. I am really happy with the way I look at the moment. It's more so just like a challenge for myself because I feel like I've never really stuck to anything like a diet or a deficit for um, this long. So I kind of just want to see what I can achieve you know, in that time frame. I thought I would also make it a little bit of a vlog style, um, just so that it's not like super boring. I don't know, I think the last one I filmed was like just of the food. Obviously, if you guys wanna see just the food, you guys can skip to like those parts of the video. I thought for everyone that loves watching my vlogs, I'd make it a little bit more of a vlog style today. Postman actually came yesterday and delivered a couple more packages. So I'm gonna unbox a couple of those for you guys this morning as well. It's currently 10.30. I'm just gonna make myself my greens juice that I drink every day. So I'll show you guys quickly how I make that and what I put in it. I'll either drink this um, in the morning or in the afternoon when I have my afternoon snack but i'm just gonna have it this morning just because i feel like it and i like the taste of it so i recently got this naked harvest gorgeous greens pineapple punch powder it tastes really good but i just hate the packaging like this black thing is so hard to get off but it does taste really nice i don't know i just kind of wanted to have a powder to mix in with my chlorophyll if you guys watched my last vlog um you would know that i started taking this because i saw it all over tiktok and i just get easily influenced by TikTok pretty much. I'm just gonna do like a tablespoon of this. Add in some water, fill it up to about there. Let's give it a little mix. And then I just add in 15 drops of my chlorophyll. You guys, this chlorophyll smells, I was trying to figure out what it smells like. It smells like the toilets in Bali. I know that probably is like so specific. It is very specific, but and honestly, James couldn't smell this when we were in Bali, but every time I'd walk into like the toilets and even a lot of the rooms, it was like the rooms being like flooded in and it smells like old off water. But that's also because I grew up in the Philippines and it used to flood a lot there. I could smell like flood water damage. I know that probably sounds so weird, but there's my drink done. It's not really a meal, but I thought I'd show you guys anyway. As I said in the beginning, I've got a couple of packages that I wanted to show you guys. I've got this big one here from White Fox, which I'm gonna go through first. I get so excited when I get a new White Fox package. They just come out with the cutest stuff. Like, I think they do new arrivals every week, basically. And every time they do, I'm just mull over it now. As you guys know, I do have a code with them as well. It's just Tasha. All in capitals i'll have that down below and i'll also have all the links to everything that i picked up down below as well so yeah i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to try everything on and like show you guys in the mirror rather than like showing you guys everything then trying everything on this is just a sneak peek of the first one i'm going to try on but wow this quality is incredible i've actually got a dinner to go to tomorrow night so i think i might wear one of the first two jumpsuits that i'm gonna show you guys Alrighty, so i was gonna show you guys everything in the mirror but honestly it does my head in how my camera focuses on outside this is the first piece that i showed you guys i don't know if you guys can see but it's kind of like a suede super soft fabric just like a halter neck and then you can also tie it up at the front here and as you guys can tell it's just like a long jumpsuit i did pick this one up in a size extra small i was gonna size up to a small but i'm definitely glad that i just stuck to my original size because it's not actually super tight at all um if anything it's actually a little bit loose on me in some areas but it's super comfortable and i did pick it up in the white as well so i'll just quickly chuck that on now for you guys this is the white one on i think i actually prefer the white one this is it close up guys this next one is so freaking cute this is definitely coming to europe with me either in the white or the pink color that i'll show you guys next i think there was also a couple other colors as well i think there was black actually from memory love a good little mini i mean i've still got the tag on so let's just excuse that but you just tie it up around your neck and then this you can actually also make super tight i've kind of just done it really quickly just to quickly chuck it on you can make it tighter than i have just so that it really hugs your waist if you want that look this is so adorable such a nice length on me as well 
So I'll definitely chuck it on in the pink for you guys as well. Guys, this color as well is so stunning. I'm not really sure if pink's like my color, but this color with a tan, you just can't go wrong with it. These next two pieces that I have on, it looks like a dress, but it's actually not. It's a top and a skirt. And it's actually not a matching set, but the material of the top of the skirt is exactly the same. So it works together perfectly. This is the top. I love like this clip detailing here and it also has little cut out sides and then I've just paired it with this black skirt that I actually sized up to in a size small. I think it said on the website that it was like a low waist skirt and sometimes I find that with low waist skirts it's just way too short on me and a lot of people like that look but I personally don't really so I size up to a small and I'm definitely glad that I did it's super comfy and this set together just looks so hot this next little cover-up dress right here honestly white fox kills it every time with all their beach wear they do the cutest little cover-ups and anytime I wear it on like Instagram stories or anything like that people always ask where it's from and nine times out of ten it's probably from my fox so this is the new little cover-up that they've just released it's just like a low back it's not actually super fitted as well if you guys can see at the bottom here it's quite loose so it's a little bit more relaxed and the swimmers that i'm wearing underneath are also from white fox as well i'll show you guys kind of close up it's just this kind of like crinkly material so i got the triangle top and the little matching bottoms just to wear underneath but yeah alrighty guys so i've got on the last two pieces that i'm going to show you guys white little crop here very girly i wish that they released like a matching skirt or even shorts with this top because i just think that would look so cute but i've just paired it with these jeans right here i'm like awkwardly trying to kick my legs up but these are i don't know what they're called but if you guys watched my sydney vlog when i went there for a white fox event this is what i wore that night and if you guys saw in that video i sized up to a size small and i just felt like it was a little bit too big so i picked up the extra small this time and it's sitting right underneath my belly button which is perfect obviously if you want like more of a low waist look then definitely size up i'll still keep those jeans just because you know i feel like different rises oh my god different like rises look good with different types of tops so like this looks really good with this um just because i've only got a little bit of stomach showing whereas a low waist one i feel like kind of looks better with like corset tops just so you have that little bit more extra skin showing and just so it's not ending like right where the jeans start so yeah i absolutely love these jeans though they're so comfy and i also really like that they're kind of like a mid wash color like they're not too light they're not too dark they're just a the perfect shade of jeans to wear with any color top so yeah if you guys get anything from this video that i've shown you guys so far definitely get these jeans like they are they're just everything um and i'm really happy that i have them in the extra small now okay so that was everything from white fox that i picked up i've also got this package here from amazon which i've been ordering way too many things off amazon i'm not even gonna lie i think i have an obsession with amazon i actually placed this order because i needed some stuff for europe i wanted to pick up some new tripods and things like that i actually got two. First thing that i got is this little gimbal stabilizer if you guys don't know what a gimbal is you connect your phone to it or you can get ones for your cameras too and it just makes whatever video footage you get um stable it's a stabilizer i think this one's bluetooth powered so we'll see how she works it also actually doubles up as a selfie stick which i think is perfect but i'll keep you guys updated on how that works i won't be using it probably until i go to europe but i feel like it seems pretty good quality i don't know it's really nice and small too so i'm pretty sure this will fit in my bag this is probably the bag that i'm going to take with me everywhere in europe and it fits in there perfectly next up i got this um tripod which is actually also a selfie stick this one had heaps of really good reviews it's by the brand atom tech this looks severely suspicious okay so you push that okay it's not very heavy duty but i do feel like it'll do the trick this should come in handy um just for when i want to get like tiktoks and stuff while i'm over there i got a pack of six hair clips we've got um two lighter nude ones in these two different um shapes or whatever and then like a mid-tone brown maybe I, there's eight in here i think yeah there's eight um we've got a chocolate brown and we've got two black ones as well i also picked up just some gold ones as well 
But yeah, I just got a bunch of these like different metal shaped gold ones. I'm not going to open those because they're all individually packaged and that's going to severely annoy me. But yeah, guys, that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. I do have quite a few more packages there, but I'm saving those for um, another Europe TikTok haul. I feel like it's just turned into like a whole series on TikTok, but I love it. Okay, guys, so it is 10 minutes to 12 now. I still haven't eaten today. I do like to fast through the week, especially on the weekends too. I'll usually fast to like 10 or 11. Um, but I do love going out for brunch on the weekends, so I don't fast for quite as long. Through the week, I find that it is easier to be on a deficit when eating at a smaller time frame, time window, whatever you want to call it. This is just what works for me when I'm on a deficit. First meal today is going to be a bagel, which I'm going to cut in half, obviously. On one side, I'm going to do cream cheese and eggs. And then on the other side, I'm going to do peanut butter and strawberry jam. I have just absolutely been loving um bagels recently it's my new favorite thing i'm just gonna chuck this in the toaster so i'm just gonna cook my eggs now if you guys don't have one of these spray bottles you need to get one i know you can get them on amazon i got this one from Woolworths. it's probably a little bit cheaper on amazon i just did two little sprays of olive oil and that's literally all i need whereas when you're like pouring olive oil directly from the container you end up using a lot more than you need and oil is just one of those things where it's kind of calories that well when you're on a deficit anyway it's kind of just calories that you can probably get rid of and that you don't actually need so i want to eat the food that i love but i just want to make it a little bit healthier so yeah i'm not adding in like an excessive amount of butter to things you know i'll try and have like light milk or light cream cheese like you guys will see in a second instead of like full cream and stuff once i get to this point i turn the heat off and i put some salt on top i'm actually going to put all my food through my fitness pal today which i don't usually do just to kind of give you guys a bit of an idea of how many calories i'm eating so now i'm just going to grab my cream cheese it's just the coles brand one the light spreadable cream cheese and what i do is i put it on my scale um i tear it so that it's on zero and then i just scoop out how much i'm going to use and that'll show me on the scale how much i've actually um taken out so right now it says 12 grams 98 grams of egg then i'm just taking my peanut butter i'm using 14 grams of this don't you hate like the last part of the peanut butter in a jar and it's just just doesn't spread properly my strawberry jam 10 grams of that. There's my breakfast. And all together, that's 478 calories. This is so freaking good. It's so basic, but it's so good. And then I get to eat something sweet after. making my little snack or second meal also gonna have one of my digestives biscuits which one of these has 71 calories a lot for a little biscuit but i love them so much my snack or my second meal today i'm just having some rice cakes all these are corn beans actually by the brand real foods and then the multi-grain one so two slices has 47 calories which is fantastic so I've got them on a plate here. I'm also just going to add a little bit more cream cheese. All right, we've got about 12 grams worth. And then on top, I'm also going to add this lemon and cracked pepper tuna tin. And just split that with both. And then I'm also just going to add some beetroot on top. I've just got some canned beetroot here. I'm going to add about 40 grams of this. Together, this little snack has about 281 calories. Before I have my dinner tonight, I'll probably have a protein coffee just to keep me awake for the rest of the night. And so I don't need to have a nap this afternoon. It's basically my second meal of the day, which I know is basically nothing. Like some people are probably watching this going, sis, that's not that's not lunch. But 
To be honest, guys, because I do fast, I don't really get that hungry throughout the day. Like once I have that first meal, I just need a little bit of a pick me up in the afternoon and then I'll have my dinner at night and a little bit of a dessert as well. Also, as well as that, the only time that I'm really expending energy during the day is when I train in the morning. I'm not really like moving or walking around or using up that much energy during the day and that's why I don't get as hungry. So obviously if you are someone who's walking around all day or if you have a job that you know requires you to be up and about then you're obviously going to get a lot more hungry than me and your deficit calories are going to be a lot higher than mine. Someone who's just basically at home or is seated throughout the day. Like the only time that I'm really being active during the day is when I train in the morning or go for a walk in the morning. I'll probably get like 5,000 steps in if I'm lucky. Um, probably like around 3,000. So that's why I personally don't get hungry. Some people probably look at this and think like, oh my God, I could not survive off that, which uh, the truth is like people that are out and about or, you know, busy all day, probably couldn't. I just want to like preface that because I know some person who thinks they're so smart and knows everything is going to comment that in the comments. But in reality, I actually just don't really get much movement in during the day and that's why I'm not that hungry. And I'll see you guys later on when I make my protein coffee. Tomorrow is 5 o'clock. I'm just going to make myself my protein coffee real quick this is the instant coffee that i use it's from nescafe it's the 98 percent sugar free i think this is the mocha but it's got 50 cals per sachet do hot water some milk in i'm just using almond breeze unsweetened almond milk that's 145 grams i'm gonna do a scoop of my protein powder which is just the um, a biotech iso way zero the chocolate one as you guys can see i'm almost out a little bit of an afternoon pick me up Alrighty, guys it is currently what's the time 6 15 i'm making my dinner now i'm not overly hungry yet but once i finish cooking i definitely will be but right now i've got some potatoes which i'm gonna boil i did actually boil the water just then um, but i've just put it in the pan so that's why it hasn't like fully started boiling again but i'm just gonna let that boil until it's fork tender 135 grams of spud light potatoes um if you guys don't know what spud light potatoes are they're basically just like lower carb um potatoes so if you're dieting it's definitely a good option and if i'm not having rice for dinner i'll definitely have this as some form of carbs and i just love the way potatoes taste you can just do so many things with them for dinner tonight i'm going to be making a really yummy creamy prawn dish and then the mashed potato is going to be the base that's actually all the potato i had left i would have loved if i had an extra piece but that's fine i've just got some prawn here i don't know if i'm going to cook all of this Pretty much all you really need is garlic cloves, chili paste, Cajun seasoning, the prawns, um, butter, milk. This is light milk, cream cheese, and you'll also need salt and pepper. I actually made this for James for one of his dinner meals this week. And this is just the leftover prawns. But honestly, when I tried it, because this is the first time I've made this recipe. When I tried it, I was like, oh my God, I'm so jealous. So here I am. The same as all the other times. I'm going to tear it so it's on zero. Take this off. So I've got four grams of butter. I definitely don't want the garlic or the butter overcooking. So I've just moved it to a low heat. I probably could have done this on a much, much smaller pan, but that's all right. I'm also, I'm also adding in just a little bit of chili paste and letting that cook off. I'm not going to worry about measuring that as well. Then I'm just going to bump the heat to like a medium heat and add in the prawns once I feel like the pan's heating up. Ten grams of that light cream cheese. A third of a cup of milk. I'm going to bump up the heat to high because we want the milk to thicken up. I'm going to also add in some Cajun seasoning, some pepper. 
As you guys can see, that sauce is bubbling up quite rapidly, which means that it's getting nice and thick. So there we have it. That's how easy that was. And it tastes amazing, you guys. At this point, our mashed potatoes are also done. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some butter and some milk to this, salt and pepper, and that's literally it. That's going to give it a lot of flavor, so it doesn't really need much. Here it is all done. I actually feel like that amount of potato was perfect. I don't think I need any more than that. I had a little taste of the sauce. It's so good. I'm just having it with some Coke Zero. I literally just ran to the car to go and get this. That's how I was I'm with Coke Zero. Like I just can't have my dinner without it. So yeah, that is my dinner tonight. Let's do a little taste test. Mm. The mashed potato really balances it out. Especially because I didn't put a lot of salt on there. Here's my dessert choice for tonight. It's got a chocolate paddle pop stick here, which I believe is only like 70 calories, which is great. So if you're craving chocolate ice cream, this is a really good option. That's low cal. I just got six little pieces here of Oreo chocolate. But yeah, like I said, you don't have to cut anything out if you are on a deficit or a diet. You just limit your intake of stuff and not overdo it. I'm just going to head to bed now. Um, all in all today, I've eaten around 1,500 calories, which is exactly what we want. For the last like three, four weeks of my deficit, I'm going to drop it down to like 1,300. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, love you guys.